Kampa horsemen are descended from a long line of warriors who long ago established the reputation of Kham as a fiercely independent spirited place. In the past, travelers were afraid of the region, which they said was infested with robbers. But the campers are a race of kings was often the first phrase taught to children of Kham. These tall, proud, sedentary or semi-nomadic men were of pugnacious nature. They spent their time fighting Chinese aggression and Lhasa's influence over their region. The small kingdoms of Kham, scattered through its valleys, have never been conquered. Before harvest time each year, the valley of Jekundo becomes a focal point for the whole region. A great horse fair is held here, and on this huge campsite, ordinary village people pitch tent with nomads and camper horsemen. The very special geographic layout of Tibet has shaped a united and independent people and the Chinese invasion of 1950 only served to strengthen these characteristics. The campers became the country's freedom fighters, supplying the Dalai Lama with his best leaders. The campers are easy to spot at this great fair because of their knotted hair decked with red tresses. They often carry a dagger at their waist, but the jousting here is purely peaceful. We leave for a moment the preparations for the horse fair to go into the calm of the monastery which dominates Jekundo Valley. Here you see two dancers who symbolize the master of the cemeteries and his secretive wife. They are protectors of the doctrine. Cemeteries are looked on as being special, privileged places where certain types of tantric meditation are practiced. In them, the monks try to reach a state of mind where they no longer distinguish between attraction and revulsion. Cemeteries are places inhabited by evil powers, which can also represent wisdom. Mudra are gestures which demonstrate an internal attitude which corresponds to the different stages of the ritual. Visualizations, which are a creation of the mind, are very important because if you can visualize a deity, this means that you're able to transform your whole spirit and direct it wherever you want it to go. In 
In contrast, the horse fair is a non-religious festival, although the monks do take part. There's an almost ceaseless round of shows and competitions. It's a festival bursting with movement, color, and costumes, a celebration of ancient, unchanging traditions. You might think you were living in another age, another world, but the presence of the Chinese is a reminder of the modern reality of Tibet. Campers seem to have been born and bred on horseback. Their riding skills are impressive. Though these shooting demonstrations are strictly non-aggressive, they give an idea of the mobility and efficiency of the ancient Mongol armies, who centuries back nearly succeeded in taking Buddhism as far west as the shores of the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. 